Okay. Got chat propped up, got everything going just fine. I need to do a couple audio tests for right now. So, oh, Candy's on. Thank you, Candy. Um, so I just need to do some audio test stuff so you guys can hear me properly with the game properly. So how do I sound right now? Like, me, not excited to me, not anything, just me being chill, just talking. Is it too loud, too quiet? Thank you, Candy, for just showing up in general. That helps a lot. Because I got a audio mixer thing on my uh, computer, so I'm just trying to figure out like what the good range is. All's good? Okay, so this is with the game now. Can you guys still hear me just fine? Does the game echo at all? Everything's fine. No echo? Nothing? I'm gonna turn that down ever so slightly. Okay, everything's good to go. So, um, do you want to be brought up the speed on what's going on, Candy, or should we just play as is and you'll figure it out as you piece it together? Okay. Also, Candy, should I promote you to mod? Because I know I was talking to you about this a while ago, and I, I think you actually deserve, considering you're helping me with YouTube and streaming and all, like, so I'm thinking maybe you should be modded in my chat. I just dropped my phone. Oh crap. That was super bad on my part. Okay, so with the birth of a new mod, welcome to the crew of stream and everything else. With being a mod on stream, you are now a mod in the Discord. Um, as soon as I can find you. Candy, uh, promote you to mod. You can now control what people say, basically! Yay, political power! It, it, it's not political power, it's just more... These are definitely people I trust, without a doubt, so before anyone's gonna go like, Eh, mod requests! No, no, it's just people I trust, and they could always, de they could always be demodded, so it's not like it's a permanent thing. Um, so once again, do you want a quick little backstory of this game, or should we just go straight on to it? You have stream officially started, I don't mind giving a backstory for all this stuff, because it's all kind of separate, but consistent at the same time. Just go on. Okay. We're still doing chapter one stuff, so we're still kind of level. Actually, the point thing is, I think we're over leveled. Oh, hi, Mr. Goat. You're a new enemy. Hi, Mr. Goat. Are you weak against arrows? You are. Are you weak against stamps? You're not. Are you weak against axes? No. Are you weak against stamps? Can't tell. Um. Are you weak against Shadow? You are. Break him. Please. 
Mr. Goat is terrifying me. Here we go. He is big and scary. Uh, cleric skill. Shun them with light. Oh, that goat's gonna be a pain in the butt to kill, isn't it? Oh, that goat's gonna be a pain in the butt. Also, are you weak against ice? I feel like you're ice. You ice? You are ice! Discoveries are being made. And oh god! Why must you hurt? Let's get down to business. Yeah, I should have leveled that up. Uh, you have a staff. Go staff! Go for damage. Oh god. Do 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 do. Out, prim Primrose. Bring it on. <laughs> no, 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 oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hurt. The show is over. Well, uh, we just got owned a bit. Let's go, before we die. That'd be nice. Oh, there he is. Hi, Mr. Dude. Look, you're just the last party member at this point. I know what your backstory is. Can we just go, like, get your side quest done? So you can join the team and not be useless? Yes, please. So, we are gonna swap you out with Alf because the order of the system was I was going to replace each teammate with um, a teammate that was just gonna be like a new teammate. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But, there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own, that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. Wow, oh, this guy's actually kind of nice. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, I mean, Professor. I mean, he's kind of nice. He's not exactly nice. I 
to this spring park? That is correct. He sounds kind of condescending to me. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family. <laughs> Anyone else getting a condescending feel from him? On the other hand, our fair Atlastan was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Also, anyone else realize this game has a very weird thing with eights? Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories in them. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and to unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Is he getting, like, basically pushed around by his, like, peers? I have a very funny feeling this thing's gonna be weird. Albright? Really? I'm sorry, I, I just got through an episode of a Phoenix Wright game. That's so weird to me. Hello? That's all right. Splendid. Oh, sounds like he's gonna get like a separate job, like a research job. It seems like. Why is just just? Well, post haste, they would say. Post haste can bite my butt. I see treasure. I see treasure. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, you're you're the one who was flustered. Never mind. Let's talk to you. You okay? You having a heart attack? Professor Albright. Oh no. The truth of the matter is. Uh, also, why does he only have two students? But of course. Mm -hmm. Was that common to only have like two students in like a college field? I guess. Like, you gotta remember, like, this is ba dated way back when, like, dancers were prostitutes. What Was it not common for people? Well, no, because I think it's more of a noble status, right? Because it was like, if you're in a noble status, you are able to, like, go into school. If you're a common, you're barely able to read or something. I believe that's how this is generally. Because, like, this is definitely more of a mixed society, what I've realized. But it's kind of hard to, like specified dates and like what time frame this is supposed to uh, supposed to take in place but considering everything this is what the i want to say the 18th century or so I, is that right that's not right i am so horrible with dates and stuff the truth is
I was a little too busy going on about my own conversation. He, he said it's about his research being his own theories, right? <laughs> so he kind of is a man of his own addictions. Not addictions, um, provocations. With pleasure. Okay. <laughs> I'm about ready to make a Hero oh. Academia joke just because of all, all all might. Good day. I mean, we could. I guess I haven't watched the show like at all. Fair I just saw funny clips of it. Can't let it pass me by. Treasure is treasure. It's good. The treasure is nothing useful. Okay. Uh, ooh, three treasure. Uh, nothing useful. Nothing useful. <laughs> nothing useful. Oh, that's just my luck, isn't it? Do 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 I mean, that's a phrase people use. <laughs> I see. Many thanks. Do, do. Oh shoot, right, I was gonna ask uh, Art something. I don't know if she's back or not. I really have. For some reason, it's Chrono Trigger. Professor Albright! Chrono Trigger music stuck in my head right now. I have not played Chrono Trigger in a very long time. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. 
Oh god. This could only be great. Hi. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. Who is the lady? How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Oh no. Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You're just a person who's just trying to govern people and you don't really care about their research, do you? You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tools is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I mean, when he got permission from the royal family. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. Really? That goes against everything you stand for, but not what the Academy stands for. Yep, as yeah, I thought. Even the best argument is sure to fail. Sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone, something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may. Wait, there was one last thing. Oh god. Sir? Don't be anything stupid. I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do, I would do so quickly. What comes? It's as if your dream is watching you suffer. I think that's actually what he does like. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Cyrus, you seem like a pretty reasonable dude, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like Cyrus already. There's only like one character I actually didn't like, and it's really the thief. Even though I understood everything about him. Excuse me. Oh no! Please don't tell me it's gonna be something. I mean, if it is, it is. Of your time. Like, I don't lie. Does anyone else like kind of like Cyrus at this point? Say it is not so. Actually, a hole. So he's literally just doing research, what it seems like. That's kind of cool. Like, I hate doing, like, reading, like, intensely, because I will sit down and read something very intensely for a long time. Leave it to me. But, um, 
I, I like the idea of, like, research and making your own opinions and, like, just kind of doing what you feel is right. And this kind of speaks to Cyrus with volume. Okay, so this goes from Cyrus' skills where it's like, just talk to people. Investigate. Testimony. Okay. But of course. Not exactly. Oh. Oh, God, I didn't read that probably. Oh. Which means that... Yes. Shall we begin? Oh, great. It's like a tiny little dungeon, probably. That shot has no troubles. I feel like Cyrus's um, story is going to be probably one of the shortest ones to do. Probably going to be like a straight run and cut. Like, I mean, dude, you are awesome. I have no problem helping you, bro. I did a bad. I did a bad. That's on my. That's on my head. First of all, inventory the equipment. Cyrus, you could take the. Actually, you're kind of slow. You take that, and then you can take the invasion one. So you only use staves. Well, great. We have two staves and one normal. Well, 
yeah, I'm kind of off balance that. Okay, I have a good idea like what my team is gonna be for a little bit because we're obviously gonna be swapping teammates. But I have a rough idea what I want the team to look like. I mean, I can't afford it, but I can sell stuff for it. Oak staff's better. Not the oak staff, the court staff. I mean, what can I sell to make this worth a damn? Not really anything I want to depart with. Yeah, let's, let's not depart with anything, just because I, I know I probably got a better deal with um, the merchant. I mean, if we kill enough stuff and we have enough money, I'll come back and actually buy it. But the likelihood of that is uh, not really high. Skellos? Who has wind? Uh, AX. It's not AX. It's not Staves. Is it Shadow? It's not Shadow. Um, it's Light Your Weakness. Like, light is a weakness. That's good. Ah, what <laughs> Not good. Cyrus, bud. You have some good skills, but... Oh, man. Are you gonna smack it and be dead? All the levels! Uh, item. The item. There you go, Cyrus. Come in, if thou darest. I know it's not dark, but screw it. Every physical attack? What the hell? Yeah, every physical attack. That's really dumb. I 
bring your shit. Not gonna lie, that's pretty decent. I'm ready. The show is over. So for those who are just joining and those who don't know anything about this game, what how do you guys actually feel approaching this game? Uh treasure. Oh. Okay. How much money do we have? Uh we've been able to buy one of them, I think. Done my Ice and fire, that should be pretty given. Night bring your shade. Yeah, Cyrus took a hit, but I mean, we could just heal that. Case in point. Oh, there's a bottom path. Okay. Now, let us hunt it. I'm ready. Yeah, you're the one that seems interesting. Inner strength. I actually have no idea what that could be. Inner strength. Sure. That actually is pretty decent for a cleric. Wind. Wind attire? So that's better equipment for someone. Who do I want to give that to? Wind attire. It's bad for you. It's bad for you. Bad for you. And it's bad for you. Wow. The wind tire is not good. Like, accumulately stat wise. There's probably like defend against wind status on it, but I'm like, eh, if it's not good stat wise though, I don't really care. Die. 
Oh, my computer just told me that the stream went through correctly. Yay. Ice Soul Stone. Don't need it. Because I seen that stuff very point. See that stuff is very pointless to a degree. Go back to town. I want to buy the better uh, staffs. Uh, where's the way back to town? No. Yeah, I don't know if I don't want to get like a little depth perception problem with that because like there's sometimes I'm like, wait, what? That's possible. That's what I needed, so we can get Cyrus's abilities now. Uh, skills. Go back to Cyrus. Ooh! Nice. Thunder. He doesn't have anything Thunder avoided, so that's weird. Prepare half so I can deal all damage. I feel like a lock is a weakness of ice more than anything else. Uh, evasive mannerism? Eh. Reduces the rate of random encounters. No. <laughs> the, the, the straight up no. I, 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 I'm very comfortable with the random encounters being fairly on the high side. I'm go. Cool. Thanks for the offer game though. Uh, actually, question, how much skill ones do we all have? Ooh, Primrose is already a thousand away from getting her, um, last skill. Voice crack. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, what did I sell along again? The Quartz Staff? Yeah, Quartz Staff. And the worst part is, I don't know who I should give it to. Should I give it to Olympia or should we give it to Cyrus? I mean, Cyrus is pretty cool. I'm able to give it to Cyrus, but I think she needs the attack boost because she doesn't have a good a lot of skills on her. What does chat think? Guys, we're gonna buy another one if we can, but just I want to know what chat thinks on this one. I know Candy's on chat, 2D and stuff, because she's she's helpful. Candy, 
ne ne never change. <laughs> ne never change and never get greedy, basically. Oh well, that that's not even my place to say that. But um, yeah, I'm just really curious what chat thinks. Should we go to Cyrus? Cause like, I see Cyrus doing more like elemental damage. I don't really see him using physical attacks. But Orfina, I feel like she's more of a cleric fighter kind of thing. Because, like, there's not anything really weak against a uh, light. I feel like light's such an abstract element in this game, and it's not going to really be effective in a lot of things. But if we give it to Cyrus, I can have Cyrus, like, physically attacked a little more. Therefore saving his SP. You know what? No, no, I'm not gonna let chat decide this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's due to the fact that chat takes a little too long sometimes to figure out answers that could be solved. Within. No, no, it's not that. I, I was just thinking over in my head. I'm like, you know what? No, it makes more sense for Olivia. I mean, if I pay nothing, I'm cool with that. Uh, how do I get Chrono Trigger out? Oh, so you weren't back. Whoops, I thought you were still here. Sorry, Art. Sorry, Candy. I was treating it like you were still here. Whoopsies! <laughs> yeah, but no, Candy, you make chat so lively. Good to know you're a mod. That's a lot more SP. Never mind. I mean, that skill is still circumstantial, too. Only gonna really use that skill against bosses or until we get more SP on, on Cyrus. So Candy, I know you're not, no, you're kind of into RPGs, right? So, uh, like, as an RPG 
like fan as yourself. Like, how would you see Autotap Travelers? Is it, does it look like a game that interests you? Let me get to know my audience a bit more for this game. I want to see this in action. You're gonna self destruct, aren't you? I want to just stop and get one more fight for Cyrus because he's going to level up. Old coins. You're a merchant. So like four and... What else is on DS? Four and three basically? I don't know, I, I never played it, but I'm getting very good vibes of uh, Bravely Default. How was really default, by the way? I never played it. And it's not the sense of, like, I don't want to play it, it's just the sense of if it was on the Switch or if they remastered it for the Switch, I'd play the crap out of Bravely, Bravely Default and Bravely Second. Because, like, my friend told me straight up, I think you would really like Bravely Default. I mean, you were strong enough, let's go. Hello. What? what, what? Excuse me. A moment of your time. So he's weak against Steams. I'll give you Steams. Well 
Oh, it's gonna work. Nope, light is worthless. Let my arrow fly in That's good. Why does um, Cyrus remind me of Balkir from Final Fantasy XII? Am I the only one who's getting like Balkir like references or not references but like Balkir vibes from? I mean, you're kind of worthless as a character, so <laughs> in this fight, really.
Okay, there. We only have one target to focus on. Cyrus is a little beat up, that's pretty fun. If it gets me the win, I'll risk it. idea when we get the second job classes for everyone? Is it like after their chapter 2 effectively? What next? If you know flat out, don't tell me. Please don't. Oh wow, that was actually one of the easiest fights. Primrose, Cyrus. Interesting. Uh huh. Just so. Say it is not so. Yeah, Cyrus is rubbing me off as a kind of Balfier kind of character. Which is weird, because like Balfier was definitely more of a like player. Cyrus is definitely more of a like Straight, straight boy. Indeed. <laughs> also, I kind of like the name Cyrus. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of those weird things, like, I heard one time in, like, an anime or a cartoon. And it kind of stuck with me, like, as a good name. Also, does anyone have any information of Eternal Snow? Like, is Eternal Snow, like, an intro to an anime or an outro or something? I was, um, oddly enough on YouTube looking through, um, um, Edo Bean's, um, music playthrough, and I'm like, oh! You can also, that sounds nice. I click and it's like this weird song. I'm like, this sounds like it'd be from an anime. Yes. Let's finish up Cyrus's first door, uh, first chapter, and then we'll consider who's gonna. We're gonna figure out who we're gonna go after next, like chapter-wise. Good. Enter. Thank you, Yes, headmaster. 
What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. What? No? And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, Balderdash of the highest order! I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. Ah, oh, that's great. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever suffering. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Sure. So you're kicking us out. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. You want him gone. Dismissing you out of practice would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Silas? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your home will remain intact. Ugh, you're a dick. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Yes, and it's your, your jerk. Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tomb that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I'm not permitted to share what I've learned with my peers in the public, there is little the point in continuing my research here. Is that so? He wants to spread his wings wide and far. Professor, what is it that you intend to investigate? It's a secret. As regards a certain term. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. I mean, we're going to get the hell out of here. An enigma as ever. It's our the assistant spread that rumor, or no? It's 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 you, Professor. isn't it? Please say you didn't actually spread a rumor oh, like that. Teresa, what is it? I I heard that you were leaving the academy. Then you heard true. Professor, I, I'm so sorry. You're the one who said it, didn't you? Source of the room. You, you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. Oh, you... I kind of got this, actually. I think it's a fear of favoritism. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. 
That is such a selfish reason to begin with, though. And that's why you went to the headmaster. Yes, but I, I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. You said that we're in a relationship that would cause massive trouble. I mean, like, if you're... Mm, Cyrus doesn't seem to mind, at the very least. But you could have just said, like, we were doing illegal actions, like gambling or something. That would have been slightly less on us. I didn't think you would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? I mean, like, he wanted to go on the adventure, so she kind of helped him. Why not, my dear? It just so happens that he was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. I mean, he's an alternative thinker, which I greatly appreciate. But at the same time, you should not say something like that to, like, someone who's a high official. For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. Like, I'm assuming after this rumor dies down, he'll be accepted back into the university, I hope. But I don't think it's gonna be that simple. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I'm not entirely without thoughts on the matter. Oh, you have Indeed, been in a relationship. I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies? I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Okay, so... I actually realize Cyrus now. <laughs> I mean, like, he's kind of a con artist. Like, he's kind of like that person who's just like, Oh yeah, you may make fun of me in my face, but I got a little dirt on you. Shall I put it out in the open? I love that kind of, like, thought process, where it's like, he thinks of a negative, turns it into a positive, and then he self-benefits himself because of that positive reaction. This is something I can't do. This is actually something I will fully admit to. I can never do this in real life. But there are some occasions where I've been able to do this, and it just, it makes you feel such... It, like, it's a smart-ass move to do, but it's just such a good, smart-ass thing to do sometimes. Yes, if only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. <sighs> who, who else feels the way about Cyrus that I do? Granted, he's oblivious towards her feelings, but, like, <laughs> does anyone else kind of enjoy Cyrus for that? Um, Professor. Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yeah, like, to be fair, he is pretty damn oblivious. But, like, what, what was the college... The, I guess university, college, whatever. What was the age back then? Like, how old were, did you have to be? Because it makes it sound like she's a full-grown adult, so I'm assuming she's like... Hopefully 20? Probably 21? Because, like, honestly, she has a hot for him. That, that's not going anywhere. But... I mean... What? I mean, like, this kind of seems like a bad uh, sitcom right now, but 
I don't know. I think, like, her and him could possibly be a thing. It's just... She really went out way out of the line doing that in the sense of a little punishment. You basically imply that we're in a relationship with a princess and that which just causes a lot of fabrications and a lot of... Ugh. I'm more or less disappointed that they didn't actually go ahead and try to get some private investigator like into this. But no, he's just an idiot. He's just oblivious. In that case... I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will, will I ever see you again? I hope so. He's, he's a nice guy when he smarts up and realizes that you're actually in love with him. I see why not. Provided we both still live. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing like a little too much about this, but it's like I'm a little giddy about a character like him because he's just like that character I just like to make fun of. I do like the music in this town though, it's like very ballroom esque. I wonder if Kane is okay. I know she's able to chat. Chat's always open. What's this tab? Oh, that's what I'm trying to say now. Okay, anyways, so we have Primrose, Furion, uh, I can't pronounce the name that well, uh, Tessa and Cyrus, uh, or Orphlea, whatever her name is, and uh, the Huntress. So, who, like, chat wise, like, let's take some time to vote on this. Who wants to go after whose storyline? And should we also go back to doing certain, like, dungeons? Like, this is a dungeon. Uh, down here is a dungeon. I'm gonna let chat decide, and we're gonna figure out who we're gonna go after next. I'll also go, go use the washroom, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It seems like no one really cast a vote. I 
I mean, I, I can do like the side dungeon for a bit, like just kind of mess around there. I was asking who wants to see who's on the next chapter. I was a little bit curious to see like what would people say, if it's like Furion or someone else. That's also you know, he's crashing. What next? Thou didst fight his courage. Well the <laughs> the thing is I like all of them. They're all really cool characters. I mean, our main character is Primrose, and she's really cool and awesome and all that, but I mean, we have Cyrus, who I'm actually enjoying a lot, we have the Hunter, we have like the Merchant, there's so many characters, and like, I just, it's hard for me to make a decision just because like, I don't really have a preference. I just want to see how hard the enemies are here. That's a Fury exclusive. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. I am ready. Night Hate, bring your shade.
Okay, one's dead. Oh, that didn't work. I mean, sure, it stabs. <laughs> that just kind of sucks that we can't hit for crap. This is a fair amount of HP, holy crap.
hunt begins. Wanna attack us, you dumbass. Okay, we won finally. How much does that give? Thank you, game. That's a lot. That also helped us. So hopefully now we don't suck. Those are straight up skulls. Those are straight up skulls. Night bring your So we bought the things before? Where? Kind of making no progress at all, are we? Guys, I do say optional, so I'm not expecting to make progress. Okay, you hurt. I'm ready. Like a frick ton. Oh my god. Okay, or I want you dead. Bring your Yeah, yeah! Second serving. I read that wrong. Wow. 
I mean, that's a pretty good skill. Let's not mince words there. Firestone. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. I mean, go, Sarah, go! I mean, this just gets better and better. I've done my research on you. Oh, crap. I'm ready. Oh, crap. Okay. I don't trust myself. Nope. That's the skills right off the bat. Okay, so let's get some calculations going right now. Right, 400 away from Primrose getting her final thing. But Cyrus could also pick up a new ability. Firestorm. Elemental argument? What? Oh, he just got the attack boost, okay. Yep. Let's see how it feels more. Hey, Mom. What can I have for dinner? Huh? What can I have for dinner? I don't know. I need to wait for something. Okay. Thank you. Let the hunt begin. Bring your ship. Thus, 
Man. Man. You're pushing a cactus now. God, you hurt. I mean, you hurt a frick ton. Oh my god. That would revise for one. Okay, that was a smart call to learn about that now. Slowly things and we're not doing like any damage. Now in the freaking red. Oh, 
And we'll keep a tabs of how much damage we've been doing to this thing. Why are you missing so much? Stay strong. Okay, you better be worth a crap ton. You are not worth anything. You're you have like very little monetary value. So when we run into something like that, we're gonna run. I mean, I'll buy back everything if I can. Just want to finish exploring this place, and then we're done with this area. Oh, you are easy. All you. All y'all are easy. away from getting the last skill. That's great. You're great. Heavy bow. Gladly clip that to you. I mean, it'll be better for the merchant, but eh. Whatever helps us live. That helps me a lot, game. Thanks. Nighthood, bring your shade. What is 
I was not expecting to miss every damn shot I came. Okay, we'll see ya.
Okay, that's good. I am not made for such battles. So basically, one more level, we should be good. One more level, one more fight, we should be good for our primrose. The next fight we're good. Evil Ward. I'm seeing that status elements. Increases the party success rate attempts. Actually, yeah, that's good. If we're gonna be doing dumb stuff like this, I need something like that on. Okay, what's Primrose's final ability? I'm very curious about this. Skills. Encore. I'm seeing that's attack twice kind of thing. What's her battle? What's her battle? Yep. Yeah. That's not exactly a great skill, that's not exactly a bad skill. It's definitely not worth compared to like an eye for an eye. That's probably one of the best skills that she has on her. Uh, yeah, we should be able to make it back to like town to not turn any issues. You know, call me surprised that those side dungeons are actually kinda hard. <laughs> They give us some good stuff to work for, though. So, like, I think I'm, I might actually go, and the rest of the stream might be preparations for the chapter two. Although we're gonna be like overpowered. 
I think it's better to be overpowered than underpowered. It's the thing with this now. Don't really need it. So where's the next side dungeon? Not super far. No, you're the cave. Uh, you know, all these are just the manor stuff. Nope. The only other one we discovered was this one. No. It was a forest. I can't remember what the forest was. The forest was like up here somewhere, I think. Mm. You know what? No. Let's go out there like the chapters as they come up. Let, let's try something like that. So I do want to try side quest. Greetings to you. Greetings. Good day. Bring your shame. Let the hunt begin. What is the logical course of action? Oh, ice! Yes, the truth! over the procedure now, so... <sighs> Wait. Cyrus can't get his next kill? I thought he could. Oh. Skill. Woo! That's kinda cool. 
Oh, he's at 1,000. And everyone else is at 3,000. So, okay, I was curious how you unlock the hidden skills, so it seems like you just gotta buy out all the other skills and then you get the hidden skill. Also, do they blink? They do blink. Oh, that's cool. Didn't notice that until I actually brought that up. Oh, here's the floor side dungeon. I knew there was a reason for me going insane. I'm like, I swear I remember something. Time to teach you a Spears, which you don't have. I mean, I can hit them a lot. One whole damage. The show is over. Wait, what? Why is this only like difficulty fifteen? What? Is it based off our team? Money. I mean, it could be a okay. Yep. I'm ready.
play in one hand, because that's smart. Night bring your shade. So I'm trying to eat while playing. Bring your Come in, if thou darest. So during the battles, I'll do one-handed. If I'm doing the map, I'm gonna do two-handed just because I need to focus where I'm going. Silver sword. I we can't equip it. Bring your shade. Let my arrow fly in truth. 